Hey, hope you're having a good week. It is August here in Houston. That means brutal and intense heat and humidity. A lot of you have reached out to me about handling skin during times of wearing a mask. And so I wanted to create a video that's multi-tiered because I think there are a couple of issues going on. Number one, we have skin irritation and sensitivity. In particular, a lot of you are saying, I haven't had acne in forever, and all of a sudden it's starting to rear its ugly head. White head, black head. Number two, a lot of you are saying, well, how do I do my makeup when I'm wearing a mask? It's getting all over the mask, it's clogging my pores. So let's tackle all of these issues in one video. First of all, the skincare issue. For us wearing a mask, and a lot of you have to wear it all day at work, it's sort of like when we put a diaper on our baby, right? You have either a cloth or a plastic type of a diaper, plastic cloth material, and this material is around the baby's bottom for hours and hours and hours on end. Well, what happens when you have cloth, fabric, anything up against the skin for any period of time, you're going to create heat and irritation because of the rubbing and because there's no way for the skin to breathe, which is why our poor little babies get diaper rash and acne and all kinds of issues. Same thing is going on with our faces. There are a couple of things that you can do at home to be able to care for your skin and protect it while you're wearing a mask. Cleanliness is number one, especially at nighttime, to be able to rid your skin, to exfoliate and get it as clean as can be. As you know, on my channel, I've talked about a couple of products repeatedly, and there's a reason for that. Number one is Prescription Retin-A. I love this for a couple of reasons. First of all, it is fantastic in terms of cell turnover and helping your skin to exfoliate and to get rid of fine lines and wrinkles. Something like this incorporated in your skincare routine, meaning mixed in with your favorite moisturizer, can really help in this area. So I think there are about four different strengths of Tretinoin, Retin-A. I'm at point one, which is probably the strongest, and I've had to work my way up. This will really help if you're dealing with adult onset acne, specifically acne that's coming from wearing a mask all day. So not only are you helping your skin get rid of some wrinkles, but it's also working in terms of minimizing and reducing acne flare-ups. Another thing, you need to mix it in with a moisturizer, and I've talked a lot about the Honey Skin moisturizer on my channel. I personally like it because it's got Manuka honey in it. Honey is very soothing and healing for the skin. It also has aloe, which is great in helping to calm irritation and inflammation, along with a host of other vitamins, and it's an organic product. I love that. The other one that I think is great is Calenula, and this is something that I picked up. It actually helped. I get an occasional rosacea outbreak here on my cheek. And this is Era Organics Calenula Cream, and it has an incredibly soothing and cooling feeling to it. So for instance, when you start your day before you put on your mask, you can put on the Calenula Cream, you can put on the Honey Skin Cream. I recommend doing the Retin-A at nighttime, not during the day. But these are great ways to sort of prep your face, start it for the day, and to help with the acne. The other issue is mask. And there are, as you know, many, many different types of masks on the market, many different shapes and styles and all of that. People have gotten very creative. There are the kind that sit flat on your face. And then there are the kind, like the KN95, that stick out. Like so. Almost like a chicken or an ostrich. But this is the kind of mask I prefer for several reasons. First of all, this protrusion for me helps me breathe better, but it also keeps the fabric from pressing against my skin. And so I feel like my skin can breathe a little bit better in here. I don't have the material pressing right up against my mouth, which is a 
big, big help. So now let's tackle the next issue, which is how on earth do I put on makeup when I'm wearing a mask? My suggestion to you is this. If you are wearing a mask all day, please do not put on foundation on your skin. It is a recipe for disaster. First of all, the makeup is gonna get all over the inside of this mask and it's just gonna be rubbing and smearing across your face. It's going to be allowing all of this moisture to get in there and it's going to have that makeup really settling into your pores. The breakouts are inevitable. Keep your skin perfectly clean with an oil-free moisturizer, which is why I featured those two. What you can do, because a lot of people will say, well, all right, you know, I'm wearing a mask all day, but what happens when I pull it down at lunchtime? You know, what if I do eye makeup, then I have no makeup anywhere else. This is my solution for that type of a situation. Obviously, the focal point is the eyes. So we're going to start, and I like this. I featured this in my concealer video. This is the Maybelline um, Instant Rewind Eraser Concealer. Concealer is everything in my book. <laughs> mask or no mask, concealer is everything. You can start with, since the focal point is the eye area, let's just touch up and get some concealer in the under eye area. What's nice about this is you can actually bring it to work because it has a sponge tip applicator. So if you need to touch up at all during the day, you've got this with you. And then if you have any areas of redness or irritation, you can touch those up too. So, I mean, for me, it might be just a few little spots on my cheek. We're just doing little areas of touch up, not a full makeup job. This is just if the mask has to come off, you don't see little spots or areas of acne or whatnot. That's it. We're not gonna set that with anything. We are going to let that be. Again, any type of makeup that I'm applying is a matte-based makeup. Nothing oily, nothing that's gonna slide or move. So now all you wanna do is create a really light eye makeup look. You wanna look like you've got something on your eyes, right? Um, but not too much. This is not the time for the full-blown smoky eye because when you release the mask, you're gonna have all this eye makeup and then bare-faced and that's gonna look a little odd. Just, just pop things a little bit, right? I mean, it could be just a little bit of uh, brow enhance just to have a little bit of pop and definition and eyeshadow very simple very neutral I featured this palette in my drugstore makeup tutorial not that long ago it's by covergirl chocoholic it actually smells like chocolate it's delicious and divine but the colors are just these wonderful shades of browns and neutrals just go in and do a very light application of shadow this lighter tan right here on my lid and all we're doing is just looking like we've made a little bit of effort because again we are going to work so you want to have a sense of you know being polished and, and looking like you've put some care and, and consideration in this but we are dealing with a unique set of circumstances here and you've got to take that in consideration too and protect your skin all of that matters the darker brown here just for the outside of the eye but in all honesty we're really going to give our skin a break the lighter shade for the brow highlight And I'm just going to use a, hold on, here it is. I'm going to use a black um, by 100% Pure. By the way, all the products will be listed in the description portion for you. And I'm just gonna top line so the focal point will be on that upper lash line. Running from underneath. All right, take an eyelash curler just to give those top lashes a little bit of a lift. Your favorite mascara. Top lash only. All right, and now we look like we have some eyes. I recommend that you carry with you some oil absorbing sheets and use those in lieu of any kind of powder. We don't wanna pile on uh, makeup again. 
the key is to keep our skin about as bare-faced as possible. And so anywhere you have areas of shine, you can just blot. Okay, so eyes are done. We have a little bit of concealer under there. The mask hits about like so. So you can definitely pop in a little bit of blush on the um, upper portion of your cheek. I love Patrick Ta, uh, she's so LA. It's really a cool combo. It's a, it's a cream blush on top with a powder blush on the bottom. Really pretty shade. So in this case, I'm just gonna do, you can either rub your finger in the cream or the powder, whatever you prefer, and just give yourself a little bit of color right up here on the cheek area. I'm doing the powder and I just want a little bit of color so my skin has some life to it. I'm actually peeling a little bit from my vacation. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So there we go. And last but not least, um, lipstick is an absolute no-no because you know what happens to the lipstick. I do have a tinted lip balm and this one is by B Naturals and it has a little bit of a, a cherry color to it. See, just a little bit of a hint. So that way, if you are at work and you pull the mask down, you want your lips to have some moisture to it, but you certainly can't handle the emollient consistency of a lipstick or a lip gloss. But a little bit of a chapstick and lip stain will be perfect here to keep your lips nice and moist and comfortable. And then when you lower a mask, you feel like you've got just a little bit of color going on on your lips. So this is a real simple, easy sort of at work makeup look to protect your skin, to prevent all of these you know crazy breakouts and, and areas of irritation that are starting to happen from wearing these masks. And the good thing is, is that you know, for the most part, this mask is touching completely clean and clear skin, except for some areas that have a little bit of spot treatment. Um, but most of my correcting took place here under the eyes and around the eyes, and that's it. And this way, my skin can breathe throughout the day if I had to wear this all day. And I feel the conditioning and the moisturizing on my lips, but the beauty with this shape mask, my lips are not touching the mask, so I feel really comfortable there too. Now, a lot of you have reached out and said, okay, so now what about going out at night and you have a, a dinner date, what do you do? Well, similar rules apply. Matt is key. Any sort of moisturizing type of a makeup that you have used in the past, I recommend that you not use it while putting on a mask because it's just going to wipe right off and get on that mask and create the same situation. What I like to use are matte type foundations and I love, as you know, I love the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Well, Tarte has Double Duty Beauty which is a matte foundation. And the other one that I love is Double Wear by Estee Lauder. I, I have this one, as you can tell, this is super dark. And I use this as a mixer for this foundation. So depending on the level of sun exposure I've had, I can either dial this up or dial this down. But I will take these two and mix them in a blending palette and then apply the foundation to my face. You know, a little dab of the darker color, a little dab of the lighter one, blend away, not too much, and we're going to do a light coverage matte foundation look. Okay, next I'll touch up with a little bit more foundation, uh, excuse me, I'll touch up with a little bit more concealer using the Tarte Shape Tape. It's nighttime, theoretically, so I want a little bit more coverage. Alrighty, with this I will set with a translucent powder from Laura Mercier. Because mind you, we're not going to have a mask on the whole time at dinner. It's just to get in to the restaurant until we get to our table and get seated. I'm going to remove my lip balm. 
to pop the eye makeup, you can essentially leave it as is and maybe pop in a magnetic eyelash, which I know you've been practicing, right? Right. That's a quick way to sort of beef up your eye look without having to add any more makeup. Just gives you a little touch of glam. Next up on the list, you can still do a little bit of um, contouring and highlight, should you so desire. I still like this Kat Von D palette. Contour has so many nice shades. I like to blend a little bit of this, a little bit of that, until it's just right. Back to the Patrick Ta blush. And again, I'll use a little bit of the lower shade and just hit my cheekbone with it. Keeping it up high. You can just sort of run the brush through the highlight and then just hit right here under your eyes. Tip your nose above the lip. And then I'm going to use more of a nude shade lip liner. And you can do any lipstick shade you want. My suggestion to you is to do at nighttime a little bit more of a lip stain and they can be hydrating, but again, nothing too gooey and moisturizing. And the color that I'm using is a slip tease in Let's Get Physical. I've worn this one quite a bit. It's a pretty mauve color. Goes on creamy and then it dries a little bit, but it feels good. This would be my going out to dinner makeup look. And everything is nice and matte. You can put on your ostrich mask and you'll be good to go. My recommendation is not to overdo makeup during times like these. And I think that just bringing things down a little bit, still being polished and refined is great. It's important, but our skin really needs an assist through all of this. But just remember the shape and, and style of a mask really comes into play here to prevent your makeup from smearing everywhere. This is my personal favorite, and I really hope this has been helpful in taking care of your skin and helping you figure out what on earth do I do? How do I treat and how do I make up during these unusual times? This video, by the way, came about because of your idea. So I thank you for that. Please leave more of them below. Follow me on social media where all of the conversation continues throughout the week. I'm grateful that you're there. I'm so grateful that you're here. And subscribe, by the way, ring the, ring the bell. Subscribe, ring the bell, ring the bell, subscribe. Share me with your friends and your family and let's grow it. Okay, now I'm saying goodbye. Go out, be bold and be blessed this week and I'll see you next Thursday at one o'clock. <laughs>